Welcome back to another Thoughts While Drinking Coffee, although today is drinking tea. And I want to talk about geotagging photos and when it's useful, when it may not be useful. Um, I always wonder why photographers don't necessarily always share this information. It's almost like where I took that picture and the settings I used is some sort of trade secret and if other people find out then no one will like my picture anymore, they'll like the other person's picture, but really when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter if I know the same place you took a photo or we take a photo from the same place, our picture's gonna be different, simply because my style is gonna be different from your style. Your, your latitude and your longitude and your location of where you took your shot or even how you took it really shouldn't be an issue at all. So let me show you quickly how using the SnapBridge app on your iPhone or Android phone and your Nikon Z camera, how you now can geotag those pictures that you take while you're out in the field. It's pretty simple. You open up the SnapBridge app. After you have added your camera to it, auto link is the option. You click on auto link there, and down here there is a location data. Now you can set your location data to high, medium, or low. I suggest high because that's the most accurate. It does use more battery power in terms of both for your phone and your camera, but your accuracy will be better. I always start the SnapBridge app and then put the phone, lock the phone, and then put it back in my pocket. This way I know it's running, it's running in the background, it's communicating with my, um, my camera via Bluetooth so it doesn't matter if I do or don't have a network or a cell signal. And then when I'm shooting, it's not only transferring a small two megapixel um, image back to my phone, but it's also sending the data of my waypoint, my latitude, my longitude, and then that information is actually getting updated to the EXIF data on the raw file. So when I bring it back into Lightroom, I've got the GPS location right there. And you might be wondering, well, why is that useful? I think that the location data is, is useful, especially when you're just out taking a, a casual, fun walk with your camera and you're, you're shooting, basically scouting for locations. And then when you get back to the studio, you look at the picture and you're like, you know, I really did like that that perspective, that composition. I want to go back there during a different time when the lighting is different or maybe the weather's different, the season's different, and this will help you remember how to get there because I know there's been plenty of times I've been out in the middle of Tahoe taking some great pictures and then I could not tell you how I got back to that place. I know it was on this X trail but how far it was and it was just easier to have that data and so now between SnapBridge and the Nikon Z series. I've been using it for a few months now and I honestly don't see a huge impact on my battery on either my device here or my phone, but that doesn't mean that I don't carry around a small power bank so that I can keep my phone at least charged because that's where it's getting the geolocation data from is my phone. So if my phone dies, I'm not gonna have it in my pictures here. So thank you for watching and I hope that quick tip helps you as well. If you have any other ideas or comments about how you keep track of scouting new photos and such, then please post them in the comments below. Also, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate that and join me for the next cup.